basic program in Verilog language. We will be learning how to create a module, how to use predefined gate primitives and how to give port declarations in Verilog language. This is a basic block diagram of what we are going to make today. We are going to make in total of 7 gates in a single module. A and B are the input of the gates and Y1 to Y7 are the output of these gates. Now we begin our program by creating a new project named basic gates. Okay. Create a new file named basic gates and select the file type as verilog. This is an important step as our program will not compile if we selected VHDL or any other language. Module is a keyword which tells the compiler that this is a module not a, any other function or a task or anything else. Module is followed by the module name and then within the brackets we write the port that we want to use. Now we declare which port is input and which ports are output. Now for calling the primitive gates, we simply write the name of the gate in this case and followed by the instantiation name and then the port declaration. In port declaration part, we firstly write the output followed by the input. As we all know, any gate has only one output and have, can have multiple inputs. Now we do the same for other gates too. Not gate only has single input, so we only mention one input and as usual one output. You must know that each and every gate has a different instantiation name. If the instantiation names are same, we will get a compilation error. One more thing to note that com when we compile, it does not mean that our program is right. Compiler only tells us that the program's syntax is right, not your logic. To test the logic, we must simulate the program. We will do it after we will finish writing the program. Now we write end module to tell the compiler that here our program or in this case our module ends. In order to simulate, we just head over to the top and select start simulation from there. In work library, we will find the program that we created and we have to select it and hit OK. A new window will pop up in which we will see all of our ports that we have declared. Just right click there and select add to wait. Now we have to force the value in order to check the result. Right click to force the value. You can give any value from 1, 0, x which is uh, unknown and z which is high impedance. We give the values to both, both of the inputs and then see the waveform. You can verify the waveform from here on. Thanks for watching.